And China's Meteorological Administration is warning of gusty winds and strong rain from a tropical storm named Senpaka, which is slowly gaining strength over the South China Sea. The weather forecaster expects it to become a typhoon when it makes landfall in southern China's Guangdong province late Tuesday. Authorities have advised people in Senpaka's path to stay indoors. Meantime, heavy rainfall continues to batter other parts of China, triggering floods, landslides, and disrupting public services and traffic. CGTN's Earhart Vermach has more. Days of rain turned streams into torrents, destroying bridges and sending cars floating away. Northern China's Shandong province saw farmlands inundated, while in the city of Luoyang in Henan province, strong wind uprooted trees. In Gawan, a small city in southeastern Jiangxi province, people rode canoes to make it through flood waters. And in Inner Mongolia, rescue teams worked for days and nights to save villagers trapped by the floods. Weather authorities say the rainfall in northern and central China may continue for a few more days. The forecast heavy rain may complicate cleanup work in hard hit areas. This round of downpours is also expected to be pretty persistent and random as well, with a pretty long duration and pretty scattered bursts of heavy rain as well. The rain started in the middle night yesterday. When I woke up, I found that the rain did not stop. The roads were flooded. Meanwhile, in northwest China's Gansu province, a strong sandstorm hit Dunhuang, home of the Magao Grottoes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In some places, visibility was less than 50 meters. Transport authorities initiated a temporary travel ban on the affected highways. Earhart for Mark, CGTN.